Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Florida State Seminoles and the Virginia Cavaliers. Number 44 is a player that brings with him a lot of talent and ability. He's a star on this team, and we're going to keep an eye on him tonight. This kid can hit the J as well as go by you with the dribble. He's definitely a force out there. The Cavaliers will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Cavaliers might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. First, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Secondly, don't let him rain threes from the arc, baby. Lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. High post screen. Trying to pack it inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Number 23 handles the pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. In the paint. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He'll regroup the offense. Up and inside. Gave it up. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory. Like a sixth man. Working it around the perimeter. On loads of three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Takes the pass in the paint. And up. And he missed. Number 44 is feeling good. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. The Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For three, you betcha. Number 30 receives the ball. Fed the low block. Picked out of the air. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Number 42 handles the feed. Controlling the ball. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Number 25 picks up the foul. First team foul. The shooting guard receives the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. High post flasher is open. He launches the bomb. Way off target. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. High post flashes for the opportunity. For the bucket, and in and out. They seem to rotate with perfect precision. Hey, by all means, if a team's defensive effort is going to be successful, they must know how and when to rotate. The post flashes up high if he wants it. 
Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He up fakes from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. High post flashes for the ball handler. On the dribble, gives it up, leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Inside, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Here they come now on a turn. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. They're working around the perimeter, the offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team, get in the flow. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. With the pair. It's good. And he got them both. Spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. Inside. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Working around the perimeter. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Number 21 takes the pass in the paint. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. They come with a double team to stop it. Virginia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. On the outside, he makes a nice shot fake. Number 44 with the foul. First personal foul. defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, puts it up, looking for contact. Got it. from three. 
three-point land. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. The skip pass is picked off. Here they go into transition. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Moving it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Got an open look if he wants it. He takes the shot off the baseline. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. He gets the rebound. He shoots from the top of the circle. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. The ACC has always been a powerful conference. Hey, so many greats have played in the ACC. These venues have been the home for so many great players and coaches. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. They've got a player spotting up on the three. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. From the top of the circle. Nice job in dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. For the bucket. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. With the jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. High post player flashing. For two, perfectly executed. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Nick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. Shoots from outside. The Cavaliers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. 
Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Thanks, Erin. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's busting his team their rhythm. He shoots from the top of the key. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. The ball goes out of bounds. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. What a reaction. What a response. What enthusiasm. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side. Everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Here's a double team. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's piled with a ball in a duck. Where's he going? Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. There's the screen up on top. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One-on-one. -on -one. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Side jumper. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Goes up for two. Florida State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Working it around the perimeter. Unloads. Shots off the mark. Here's a flash from the high post. There's the trap. Jumps into the defender. The lay -in. It rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post flashes. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gave it up. Double team now, Van Angle. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. <laughs> Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They've left him completely alone. Great play to take that to the basket. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. He 
shoots from the top of the circle. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to send that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Dumping inside. Number three makes he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Number three to the line, shooting one. Off of the nylon, NBN. Tries for two, perfectly executed. perimeter my goodness players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do <laughs> i'll tell you it must be nice that's been moved not going to work against a defense I'll like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin Executes the baby hook. And he missed. Well, that's basic. Got the high pick. There's the rejection. The Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Stolen away. They push it up on the break. Number 42 steals the ball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He fires away. He gets the board. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Up and inside. Here's the three ball. Way off target. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There's the block. There's the fake. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call. I think good call by the official. Not below what he was saw. I think it's an excellent call. On the outside. Two for one opportunity. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them. The winning rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. to resume the action. The Cavaliers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. There's the pick. There's the... Give it a racer. 
I love shot blockers. They have such a dimension to your team. At halftime, the Cavaliers trail by one. Virginia has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Nick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line. And that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Virginia will always be remembered, unfortunately, for their loss to Chaminade in the Maui Invitational. Also, what's now referred to as the EA Sports Maui Invitational. Hey, that was unbelievable, Brad. Virginia was ranked number one at the time and had probably one of the best centers in the nation. Arguably one of the best college centers of all time. Stolen away. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up from beyond the arc. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. For the bucket and off the mark. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Looking for the foul. 
He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Number 23 is whistled for the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Jump hook from the low post. In and out. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He shoots from left of the circle. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. Looking for a good shot. He bombs from outside. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, he did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He's open if he wants the shot. Gave it up. Trying to draw the foul. Number 42 with a finger roll. He intercepts it. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. That's a 7-0 run. That spin move not successful, Dick. I'll tell you, great job on the defense. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Number 12 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Misses the free one. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. On the dribble, gives it up, tries a three. That was nice. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. They move it into the front court. Tries for two. The lay -in. The Cavaliers are down by eight. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. They work it around the arc. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Makes the block.
They work the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 25 draws the person. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. Problems so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. the dribble gives it up and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot no foul on that interception no foul is right brad that's mr clean and the ball goes out of bounds and there's a look at the backcourt comparison dick i think brad you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing are they getting their team's quality shots good opportunity the team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game On the outside. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And he'll kick it back outside. Puts up the shot. There was no doubt about that one. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Intercepted. Fakes a jumper. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc. Looking for the open jumper. There's a double team waiting there. Double team doesn't work. Hey, weak side's got to be ready to attack the ball. Number 44 is called for the foul. With a little baby hook. Doesn't go. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and a spin move for the goal. Goes up for two. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Gave it up. And they get the turnover. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picks off the pass.
to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Moving it around the perimeter from three-point range. It's no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He hits a bullseye again. Man, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Fakes the shot. I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. I'll strip him in a basketball. I got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He shoots from left of the circle. He couldn't get it to fall. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Pull up jumper from way out, way off target. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. Florida State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Here's a double team. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Double team now, bad angle. He fires it up, sinks the shot. The Seminoles are ahead by 16. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Number 25 is charged with the foul. Third personal foul. Looking for a good shot. He pulls the trigger, knocks it down. Set that screen away. Three scorches the net. The Cavaliers trail by 17. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Number three is pounded up. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Team. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Steals a pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Work the perimeter. Number 44 with the fake. Now they work it around the perimeter.
Good job defensively. And a momentary look from three-point land. The small forward with the ball. From downtown. Off the rim and no good. In the paint. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He shoots from outside. Way off target. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. A chance for two. He hits it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Both free throws go. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Dump it inside. And now they'll bring it up. He puts it in with contact and all. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out. And There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Gave it up. Tries for two. He used the screen perfectly to put in the inside hoop. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. He goes with a jump hook and off the mark. High post screen, gonna use it. He gets it to fall. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. What's even more important, they'll have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. seconds on the shot clock tremendous defensive effort and that forces a five second violation they'll throw this one in from the side goes up for two in and out and he scores despite the hand the dribble gives it up for the bucket off the rim and no good that's a high post screen goes to the lane they still don't score ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man
Tries to get the D to bite. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The high screen. On the dribble, gives it up. To get the ball down low, and he hits up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Puts up the tray, way off target. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the outside. On the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? And in and out. Virginia loses by a large point spread. After a game like that, it's hard to believe that these two teams were close in the standings. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.